a ray of light refracts from medium 1 into a thick layer of medium 2, crosses the layer and is incident at the critical angle on the interface between medium 2 and 3 as shown in the figure. If the angle of incidence of ray is theta, the value of theta is. Once observe the given diagram. Here three different media of refractive indices 1.6, 1.8 and 1.3. First medium behaves like rarer medium and second medium behaves like denser medium. Why? Because the refractive index of the second medium is greater than the first medium. A light ray enters from rarer medium to denser medium. It takes the phenomena of refraction. Here angle of incidence is theta. We don't know the angle of refraction. Let it be R. At this interface, apply the Snell's law. Sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is equals to refractive index of the second medium to the refractive index of the first medium. From this, mu1 sin i is equals to mu2 sin r. Here refractive index of the first medium is 1.6, second medium is 1.8 and angle of incidence is theta, angle of refraction is r. In place of mu1, 1.6 sin theta is equals to 1.8 sin r. Let it be equation 1. And now this light ray enters from second medium to the third medium. Refractive index of the second medium is greater than the refractive index of the third medium. So this medium behaves like denser medium and this is rarer medium. When a light ray enters from denser medium to the rarer medium, at the same time, in given question, angle of incidence is equals to critical angle. So, what is critical angle? The angle at which refracted ray grazes along the interface is called critical angle. For the critical angle of incidence, refracted ray Grages along the interface. So here angle of refraction is equals to 90 degrees. Here also apply the Snell's law. Angle of incidence is equals to critical angle. And angle of refraction is equals to 90 degrees. Refractive index of second medium is 1.8. And third medium refractive index is 1.3. Mu1 sin i is equals to mu2 sin r. In place of mu1, 1.8 sin c is equals to 1.3 sin 90 degrees. Sin 90 degrees value is equals to 1. So sin c is equals to 1.3 by 1.8. Once observe the diagram, angle of refraction and critical angle. These two angles equal here. Angle R is equals to angle C. Substitute sin C in equation 1. 1.6 sin theta is equals to 1.8 into 1.3 by 1.8. Here 1.8 get cancelled. From this sin theta is equals to 1.3 by 1.6. So theta is equals to sin inverse 13 by 16. Angle of incidence is equals to sin inverse 13 by 16. Third option is correct.